Good evening everyone. It is dinner time and I am cooking four chicken thighs. I've got, uh, these are organic. I got them just the other day at the store um, in uh, called HEB, which is an Abilene. So they're supposed to be really nice. And I'm going to put on, I've been putting on Himalayan salt. It's pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. And I'm, I already have some on the other side. And I'm going to put on, I have, like I said, I did the other side. Then I thought, well, let me make a little video. Because people keep telling me, make videos of cooking. Okay, I don't cook that much. This stuff, I just really, like, really dig it. I, I guess you call it ta tajin. It's a, a, a seasoning that is very lime Kind of a citrus they say lime so i guess it's lime and it just gives it's like as if you put lemon or something on something so i'm gonna let this cook for quite a while i did put some black pepper i'm gonna put a little more on okay that's the step i don't even know what i'm making that's the thing i just start making it <laughs> Let's let this brown and, and uh, I'll put them over in a few. Okay, I'm going to use, I also bought this at HEB. It's zucchini spirals. And it's going to be my side dish. And that's what they look like. So once the chicken's cooked pretty good, then I will start with that. So, let's we'll see how that works. Okay, I turned the chicken over. Putting a good brown on it. I took out red peppers that I had in the fridge and a half an onion that I had in there. And I'm going to put that with my um, zucchini swirl. And I got some uh, onion flavored cream cheese. I'm going to add that into it and we'll see what that turns out. So let me continue cooking these yummy chicken thighs and then I'll remove them from the heat and start on the, on the uh, zucchini spirals. I decided to cover the chicken and let it steam. And I'll lower the heat just a little bit too on my little gas stove here. Whoa. So let's put it down to, to low. I'm going to take the chicken and put it into a little baked dish. Okay. Now I've got a lot of cooking crumbles and I'm going to use all this. So I'll be back with my next step. You know I only have a teeny little house. I live in a 27 foot travel trailer so I like to not have too many pots and pans going. This is a special day to have this and that. <laughs> okay, put, let me show you the next step. I'm in my toaster oven. And I'm going to turn it on about 350 and uh, just, let it, just let it cook while I'm cooking the rest of my meal. I'm sure it's like three quarters of the way done. Lily's sleeping over there and Rosie's watching Mama. Okay, I cut my veggies. I did add a little bit of olive oil to the drippings of the pan. I've never done this before like this, but that's how that's how I roll, you know. You never know how bad could it be, right, with the already flavored oil and drippings. I'll let that cook. I'm not going to add anything to it yet because it's got plenty of seasonings in the pan. Then I'm going to add in the. Uh, Zucchini spirals after these get a little softer. So let's okay. let that cook for a minute. It's cooking good. It looks yummy. I'm going to add in the zucchini. And give it a stir. Okay. 
Let it all cook for a few minutes. Oh yeah. How bad could it be? Really? Okay, I'm going to let that cook for a couple few minutes. And when it gets a little soft, I'm going to add some cream cheese. Starting to cook down and get soft. Should be pretty tasty anyway, just like this. But I'm going to put a little cream cheese in there. Just to see what it will be tasty like. Just to make it different. Okay, I'm putting that much in. Not sure what it'll do. We'll see. You can't be afraid to add things and change things and add, just do something you've never done before. And that's me. Starting to look really good. Okay, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit and stir it and stuff, and then I'll okay. I'll show you what it looks like. I did add a little bit of the uh, Himalayan salt with garlic and pepper, and I think it's done. Yep. Oh boy. And I'm gonna taste it. Looks like spaghetti, doesn't it? Okay, let me taste it real quick. Mm. Yep, that's all it needed. I'm going to turn it off and check my chicken. This is my dinner. Looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? And it's going to taste good too. So I just say, you know, go with it sometimes. Just make things easier for yourself and don't be afraid to just try new things. Yep, and I am. Um, mmm. Good, and the cream cheese really made the zucchini squirrels extra special. I'm going to have my dinner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking video.